Good morning, welcome to Dirt Gaming. This is Dirtbag, playing Project Zomboid. Six months, three days, 50. 700 zombies killed, and we're gaining some weight, 77 kilograms. Been organizing these bags. In the bag, I have got weapons, melee. I've got my, uh, what's that? Bullets, I have miscellaneous. I have more melee, my bag of bags, clothing, all ready to go and shuttle out to the van. However, we're not doing that today. I'm going to go back and break some stuff down. The kitchen that we left behind, uh, that I, I started getting really hungry and we had to leave because I had no more food in the area. I'm going to go and uh, break down those, ki those uh, cabinets. Bag bag, oh yeah, the bag bag is full. I have a second bag bag right here and that's going in here our main bags just right out here in this other room i'm going to equip it and we are going to head into base or did i put it right in front of this door it's right here in front of this door whoops equip it i moved and interrupted the animation you know what um now that i'm looking at my weapons i should probably switch out it's a good thing i organized so let's oh i found two more pipe bombs and a molotov i forgot i brought um, I have a good amount of back weapons. It's the side weapons that I'm lacking. But I did find some. Um, that's the bag I was just in. This bag. Hand hatchet. I'm going to put that there. Really short range. And then I have a couple of splitting axes that are in really decent condition. I'm going to go ahead and switch that out. And we are going to drop the hand hatchet. How many times has it been repaired? been repaired twice we can actually just toss it out altogether it's no good any longer okay this is not our base uh we're trashing the place it's it, i'm not organizing i'm not doing any upkeep it's just the way it is doesn't look like we have any friends to gr uh, i take that back we do have some so persistent this area is. I think I even saw a little horde over there. Jeez. Anybody t trailing me? No. Let's get our lung blunt up. Tin can club. Oh, it's almost dead too. Man, maybe I should go get a back weapon. We'll... Stop back in base and grab another back weapon. There's a couple of back weapons I don't think I've tried yet. A uh, salvage crowbar, which I'm assuming is a long blunt. And what else? There's a stop sign, but that has an extra that acts and behaves like the wood axe. And I can't stand the wood axe. So let's just go ahead. How many times has it been repaired? It's been repaired once. It's worth being repaired again. Will it fit in there? It will fit in there. Uh, two by four. I'm gonna... S it's an axe. Let's see how long these last. Let's, uh, grab a second one. Oh, I thought I had two. Do I just have one? I could have sworn I had two. Do I have one in here? Oh, there's... What's this? That's just a two by four. I don't want a two by four. Okay. Okay. And what else? Let's take salvage crowbar. I'm thinking I'm not going to be impressed with this. What is this technically called? Just a two by four, but it has a blade on it. Not too many. Okay, let's just drive the vehicle up. I am bringing the trailer along. Uh, in the back of the trailer it has extra propane uh, because I have five propane torches on me, which I'm sure will run out of propane. And I'll need to refuel. We'll probably find some along the way, but this just ensures that I have extra propane. Are there doors over here? Yes, there's doors up here, over here. I'm going to park a little bit out like this so I can turn around, turn off the vehicle, get out, and we can still remove hoods, 
off of these vehicles and replace ours on the Jeep. You guys aren't following me in? I really want to try out this 2x4. Let's try it out. It looks like it's single-handed. It's a little slow. Can't tell if that's just me being encumbered. I still have a lot of weight on me. I do have the welder mask on me. That is excess weight I didn't realize was on me. We'll keep that on. In fact, maybe I should just take the visor off since I have the helmet on. Just to keep the weight down. That didn't do much weight-wise. Okay, do we have doors on everything? Is this doored up? Or is this sealed? I can't tell. This looks like a door with a window. It's a door with a window. Okay, so let me go through here and empty out. Oh, I did that last episode before I left. Okay, I'm going to break this stuff down. It is 1120 now. It'll be a while before I get it done. Okay, we got it complete. What, uh, nine hours to get it all done? I'm just going to collect all these items up off the ground, and we are going to head out. I almost ran out of blowtorch. Um, let's go ahead and eat this. I am starving, and I need some cigarettes. I haven't been paying attention to my moodles. Smoke. Smoke. It's doing the weird thing where it just pulls it out and just holds it. Smoke. There's something that's happening there. I haven't figured out what's going on. Okay, secondary. So what do we get? So we got some metal sheets. I'm going to collect the screws. Then we are going to head out and we got to go back up to the gas station because that's where all the food is at in the refrigerator. Is there... I don't... We'll have to check our little base. I don't think there's a refrigerator. There might be a little refrigerator in the, the little base that we're um, holding up in at Fort Redstone just up the way. Man, we're getting a lot of metal sheets. Yeah, I'm getting to the skill level to where things are starting to pay off and I'm starting to get rewards for breaking things down. It's not all immediately unusable metal like you usually get at the earlier stages. Screws, whoops, I missed it. Screws. Salami's gone bad, that's unfortunate. More metal sheets. Um, I should take the electronic stuff just so I can repair the Jenny that is back at the gas station. Okay, not bad. So we did level over metalworking, one level, and... Oh, here's some more material I missed. And things are starting to really pay off. We got 35 kilograms worth of material. Where's the electronic scrap? I want that. It won't fit in there. It's because the bag is so full with metalworking gear. It's perfect. It's exactly what I want. You can disassemble the doors. I'm not going to disassemble the doors. That's metalworking, huh? No, that's uh, carpentry. Yeah, there's no food in here. I've already checked several times over. It's starting to get dark. There's some metalworking stuff. Too minuscule to deal with right now. Uh, this is all full. Let's just go ahead and throw this right into the bag. I mean, into the trailer. Do I need to really drive? Yeah, because we're going up to the gas station. That's where the food's at. But we'll stop by the Fort Redstone place just to see 
if there is any uh, refrigerator there. And then I'll bring some food down so I don't have to always go back up to keep it fresh and refrigerated. We can always bring a refrigerator down here too, which is a smart idea. Come on, dipshits. Okay, it is a multi-hit weapon. It's a little bit slower than the other weapons. The, um, that was close. The condition is holding up better than I thought it would. I was just gonna check the refrigerator, that's all I was gonna do. I should know not to just want to do things. Because it doesn't seem like this pl playthrough lets me just want to do things. I've got to fight. check for a refrigerator. There might be a mini one in there and I just wrote it off this entire time. There's a mini fridge right there. Okay. Really? Where are you? Are you stuck under the vehicle? Are you going to get me if I try to get in? Is there somebody stuck under the vehicle? I could have sworn I heard somebody when I exited. All these bodies are starting to decompose. When I... When I was coming down around the corner, I almost missed the turn because there was no pile of huge bodies indicating where to turn. They had all disappeared. The only thing that even shows that there's a zombie there is some... blood stains in the middle of the road. At least they seem to be keeping to one side of the road. It, it feels like they're kind of thinning out. I wonder if so many zombies are starting to come into the base and getting sucked into the base that it's starting to make a difference out here. These zombies are getting sucked down and then I'm taking them out. When I came out of the gas station this last time, there were three zombies banging on the door. So I have a feeling one of these times we're going to come back and that door is not going to be there. Or I'm going to exit and that door is not going to be there. Okay, hop the fence. A little extra exercise. Just shut the freaking door, man. Thank you. And I also filled the Jenny before we left. So that is nice and full too. Okay, let's get some food in us. Keep our weight going up. 78. Want it to be a little bit higher. Goal is always 80. Do I have anything unfrozen? Nothing just quite yet. Let's go ahead and prepare something for in the morning. We will take that and we'll take this bowl along with us. Do I need to eat right now? 
I'd like to maintain the weight. Let's go ahead and just at least have some fruit cocktail. Okay, 22.10. That's a, an appropriate time to go to sleep. See if we wake up before the alarm goes off. Yep. Okay, we're going to head back down there. Um, let's see. Propane. There's propane tank in here. Right? I could have sworn I saw one the other day. Okay, yep. What I just do? I just threw him on the ground. Is that new? And I threw this up in the air. Something weird happened there. Okay, propane has been refilled. Let's address our weight. Is it the hand hatchet? Can I take that off? No. Nope. We're going to have to take some more armor off, I guess. I don't know why all of a sudden, like, all this weight is just weighing me down. It wasn't like this at all series jacket I want to keep on me a lot of the stuff I really kind of want hmm hmm <laughs> I'll figure it out So we will uh, head back to the barracks and I will now empty it out and we can move forward a little bit. I'm still thinking we need to work on the hospital. There's nothing really in the hospital that I want. Um, it's just the fact of killing all the zombies at Fort Redstone. That is the one of the goals. Whoa. That was a weird, energizing little burst I did right up to it. I I think that was my hand hitting a, cup, a series of wrong buttons. I don't know. Something felt weird in my hand. I don't think that was the game. Not sure I'm a fan of this 2x4. Still debating. It's getting the job done. And it's one-handed. So what if we take off the splitting axe? Some of this stuff we can just go ahead and put into the trailer. That might help. I got a lot of stuff in here too. Maybe I should empty this bag out. Now it is has gone away. I just have a lot of weapons in my bag. So here's the stained road. Wide turn. Don't ruin my hood. I just fixed it. Trying to weave in between the zombies without ramming into the trees. I have done that a couple of times, going back to the base, flipping over to the new Jenny, to the next Jenny. And that's why we take a vehicle that I can thrash. That Jeep, uh, not Jeep, the uh, van that's back up at the gas station. That's what I've been driving back and forth to my base, because the base is many, many miles away from where we're currently fighting. Blood stains. We're getting close to my territory. Skip in here. We don't need anything in here. There's a bag, but I don't need it right now. Um, it's the second entrance I want. Ooh, I almost thought I hit that tree.
Okay, nice shot. Let's now realize the lights are still on. Let's get them turned off. Nothing up there. That's where we were just at. This is where I want to loot. I need to get a bag. I left all my bags up at the base. Dang it. That's full. Garbage bag. I left all my bags back up at the... Uh, Fort Redstone base. We're just going to run up there. I need to get sprinting up anyway. What's our sprinting at? Sprinting. Four. Working on five. Not quite there. Of course, there's zombies. I just wanted to do something. Coming in. I think I'm a fan of this axe, of this 2x4. I mean, it's not bad. It's just, I think it could be better. It seems a little weak. Also, the sound sounds more like a thud, so maybe there's a little bit of psychological... It sounds just like a piece of wood feel to me. Um, I came back here for bags. We will grab just the bag of bags. And we're going to throw that in the trailer so it's always with me in the trailer. Maybe I should throw it in the back of the Jeep. There's a bag. Where's the Jeep? Oh yeah, this is not where we were. Next one down. There we are. And I'm exhausted, but that's okay. I kind of figured I would be after running all the way down there and back. Not a biggie. Okay, drop... And I'll take, what, uh, three. Do a little quick look, just to make sure we're still alone. This place is a little bit harder to get into for zombies compared to some of the other areas. Nothing in here. I've already gone through here. Um, what's in here? Okay, I will start here. I'm going to start looting and just load up the vehicle. And then we'll do the garage next. And yeah, that's how I'm going to be looting Fort Redstone. I am all done looting the barracks. You guys have been making fun of me. How many bags I've been collecting? Well, this is why I collect bags, just for easy transport. Now I have all these bags loaded and ready to go. Look at all the ammo canisters I have. 
the magazines, the firearms, and it can easily be transported and put right into the trailer. However, I think I do have to take this backpack off to do it because everything is so overweight. So easy. And now when I'm done, all I have to do is put these pull these items from the trailer and take them to wherever I want. That is why I collect bags, just for easy transport. I can go ahead and put this back on my back. Are you... Is it too far away? Is that what happened? Where's my bag? Let me pull the vehicle up. Or is it just too heavy? Son of a bitch, I hate this little thing. Okay, let's go ahead, take the axes out. Let's take the pipe with scissors out. Can I equip it yet? I can equip it now. And now go ahead and put those back into the bag. So weird. Um, let's see, yeah, the door's shut. My driver's side door. Um, I guess what we can do is 1740, we can work a little bit more on the hospital. We have yet to complete the hospital. Or, let's take a drive around. Yeah, let's do that. We have not searched the place. I've driven through honking in a panic, trying to get zombies and pull them out. There's a vehicle down there I want to check out. More vehicles up here we can remove hoods and parts for and replace... Uh, the vehicles that we are currently using need to bring a sledgehammer so we can get into these these freight containers. I don't know what kind of barracks we have right here, what kind of tents we have. I'm sure there's ammo. There's barracks up there. What's this building? Nice looking vehicles in here. Why they're not military, I do not know. I'd like to see some more military vehicles. Is this going to end? Yeah. Okay, so this is one end of Fort Redstone. Man, this Jeep can haul ass through the grass, off-roading. This should lead to some hangars? I think there's hangers out here. Still a ton of zombies in here. Yeah, here's some hangers. Or bunkers. I don't know. Maybe these are considered bunkers. Some kind of an administrative building here? Administration? I, I don't know. We'll check that building out. Yeah, there's still a good amount of zombies in here. We have a lot of work. Holy crap, a lot of work left to do. Bombs. We'll need bombs. We'll need more pipe bombs, which means I need more twine. The reason I don't have as many bombs as I'd like is because I've run out of twine. Okay, so there's still a lot down there. Hospital. Coming up on the main road. We haven't searched the helipad. Two by four is now at 50%. We're checking out this vehicle. Windows look really good. Let's hope it's unlocked. I guess I can't replace the windows now, so it's not as big as a deal as I was thinking. Group of zombies down there. Okay, it's unlocked. Which means it's ours. Dang it. Need a chance to look at the glove compartment, see if there's an extra key in there. If not, we'll just hotwire it. 
guess we should also, before I jump the gun, take a look at the vehicle's condition. All right. Nothing in the glove box. Okay, let's take a look at this vehicle's condition. It's huge. Oh my goodness. 83, 70, 470 horsepower. This. Screw you, Jeep. You just got upgraded. Man, what a beautiful vehicle this is. Uh, it just has a gas mask. Okay, well, we have a new vehicle. Medical supplies. I know there's ammo in some of these. Oops, wrong button. Didn't bring anybody out? Couple. A couple. Well, I'll take these guys out. It's getting late, and then I think what we'll do is I'll start working here. I'll maybe honk the horn and see what it brings in. The only problem honking the horn in here is there's only one exit. So they're all going to be coming in. And if I need to bail, I'll have to hop a fence. And I don't want to hop a fence. Ah, screw you guys. You're not paying attention. There we go. Do we have gas? Doesn't look like I have gas. We can fix that. Siphon gas. And add gasoline. Or do I have an engine problem? That's not what I meant. Is there something I missed that I just didn't catch? Engine, 83, engine quality. It looks good. I don't know. All right, I'll mess with it later. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day. Bye.